180 days, ladies and gentlemen. That is how long we've been playing Marvel Strike Force 4 now. We got the first day download, literally within like half an hour of like the big announcement that Marvel Strike Force was coming. We were on the New Zealand App Store. We downloaded the game. We got stuck right in. So this is definitely the account of somebody that has been there on the pulse of the game since the very, very first day. And then today I wanted to do an account tour video for kind of like mainly like historical and also benchmarking reasons and the reason I say that is because there are two opportunities where I want to kind of look back and compare this account and the first one is I want to see uh, what the account of somebody that started playing at launch is like six months after where they really really hit it hard uh, in comparison to this account so that's going to be in about four months time and then also um six months from now when my account is 12 months old I'm very very interested to look back and you know see what has changed see what was relevant then because uh, I always find this stuff so so interesting and fascinating and it's one of the things that we do quite a bit in Marvel Contest to Champions as well so yeah 180 days ladies and gentlemen you can see if you can build up to a roster of this stature in 180 days uh, but yes let's have uh, a little bit of a look so just as a disclaimer again we are a day one beta player in terms of the amount of money that I've spent on this game uh, which is a question that comes up uh, quite a bit because people think that I've spent like a ridiculous amount but it's only been uh, I guess well depends how you know new you are to free to play gaming uh, some people think I've spent thousands but in reality I've only spent about $400 in this game and I would say about 200 to 250 of that has been completely unnecessary wasted for YouTube videos purely for the sake of um you know, making uh, some really awesome videos, doing some testing, and pushing forward a little bit more. Aside from that, I'd say the 150 that I have spent has mainly been on, like, uh, just topping up the power cores, really. Because, you know, being at a high level of arena, you can get a good amount of power cores. Uh, but there have been points, especially when I was pushing to level 60 just after the update, where I was, like, buying the 200 power core refreshes every day. And there have been opportunities as well where I've been buying, like, uh, boosts, uh, what is it, additional raid energy to kind of move forward and do some... Some longer videos than that uh, but really that's all the stuff that we've brought in the game like the the majority of offers that come up are just absolutely wank they're just not worth your time at all so yeah I'm really really hoping to see some better offers in the future but there hasn't uh, really been anything good there was like a what was it 9.99 like Captain America uh, starter bundle uh, but yeah I think uh, there's a couple of other like very small bundles as well early on I think I brought like a nebula and Gamora bundle but apart from that like it's it's barely been about $400 spent on this account just to you know full, put, put that full information out there but again day one beta player ahead of the curb constantly grinding top 500 every single arena because you know it does work in a way like free to play games you get there you get early on you get the big roster you can dominate the games uh, and I knew it was gonna work exactly like that so yeah that's why I got in day one, mate. Uh, so as you can see on the top row here, we got Quake Gamora. Quake and Gamora, a couple of my favorites, man. Quake is arguably uh, one of the best characters in the game at the moment. Definitely top five when it comes to any single list. Gamora, uh, the you know, I really, really like Gamora. I think she's super, super fun to play. Awesome on the single target. Massive roulette world champion. Uh, but I would say she's maybe just outside of the top five characters at the moment. I think Yondu is definitely in the top five as well. Yondu and Quake arguably, I think, contend for the title of the best character in the game. So yeah, we're very, very close to getting Yondu up to seven star and also uh, tier 11 as well. And both my Quake and Gamora are the two characters that I have at the moment at tier 11. I've just got Gamora up there, even though she's not necessarily the most overall and useful character when it comes to the super endgame endgame stuff. Uh, like, I I really like Gamora, man. She's super fun to play, and she carries, like, destroys in Blitz, man. She's part of one of my very, uh, I have, like, five infinite teams for Blitz that can win at the four times multiplier, and those are teams that I'm going to share with you guys very, very shortly on YouTube videos. There's just so much information to get out, man. So much to, uh, share with you guys, but it's all coming on the channel. And then we have, uh, Crossbones as well. I love Crossbones, man. Seven Star, we use him, uh, uh, quite a bit of the time in Arena. He's generally one of the characters that we, uh, kind of rotate in and out there but he is um 
yeah, very useful for Arena and Blitz, and occasionally in raids as well. Like, he's a very good, like, uh, you know, get in there, deal a massive amount of damage if we want to, like, chip away or get through a very annoying phase. But the level 60 raid at the moment, it really isn't too much of a problem. But if you watch the Army of Gamora's video that we did, like, a few days ago, you can kind of see, you know, how the uh, the suicide tactic, uh, suicide squad tactic for Crossbones works there. Uh, so we got Captain America, who is the best tank in the game uh, for the majority of situations. There are a few where the enemies start pretty loaded up and Drax is maybe a bit of a better option uh, to avoid anybody getting bursted down, but for any fight that kind of extends quite long and has multiple waves, Captain America is just a friggin' G, and yeah, he's 7 star, he's tier 11 at the moment, we got Spider-Man as well at 7 star, just from all that blitz grinding as well, he's at tier gear 10, Spider-Man's a bit of an interesting one, man, not quite up there, but he does pack a punch, and he's uh, occasionally quite useful there, Hawkeye, I really love Hawkeye, man, bit of a utility god with Hawkeye with his blind and also ability to mask clear and dispel effects. We got Thanos last month up to five star. He's not really uh, too insane, but hey, he's he's quite fun in terms of in his animations. I just wish he was a little bit better. And he did receive a buff last patch uh, to also grant uh, potentially ability energy to cosmic allies when he uh, what is it kills a character. So that's pretty awesome there. Then we got the Daredevil up there, seven star Drax, seven star, pretty pimped as well. Four as well is at the six star rank of the. I think he's going to say six star for quite some time. We're not really buying the raid orbs at the moment. I don't really need four up there as seven uh, seven star. Like it's much. Um better invested in the gear for us right now. Black Widow, we can get to 7 star, but I don't have the gold at the moment. I'm saving up gold for, uh, what is it, both Cable and Deadpool. So we did a Deadpool rank up video earlier today, and you're going to see him soon, but that cost me like, you know, uh, 1.6 million gold to sort all of that out, so it's quite expensive. Night Nurse, I really want to get Night Nurse up to tier 11, because uh, again, Night Nurse, her regeneration is only increased further by the amount of health she has. So yeah, gear ups on Night Nurse really, really help, and also so we want to get to 7 star, and I hope that I have that by 12 months. Uh, then we got Winter Soldier, who's pretty pimped out as well, man. We can always get him up to tier gear 10. We probably could if we wanted to, but I'm probably saving the materials uh, for some slightly higher value characters. But Winter Soldier, the single target on him is very, very fun. Punches very hard. Also got Iron Man from the Iron Man event. Um... That has been available twice in the game, but as of the moment is not currently active or in sight. So yeah, I hope Iron Man becomes available. Black Panther, who is a bit of an interesting character. We got him five star, half the way to a six star champion, tier 10, uh, level 60. Quite a lot of his abilities uh, almost fully upgraded. But yeah, Black Panther's okay, man. He, he ain't too bad, but I'm not really finding too much of a use for him in many modes of gameplay. Like he gets the job done when it comes to a lot of smaller minions, but then again, so does anybody with uh, a good area of effect and we're quaking yondu man it's it's pretty much taken care of most of the time so yeah i, I also haven't like found a good use for uh black panther in any of my like five infinite blitz teams like i've done a lot of different testing with Blitz teams, and uh, I don't know, I feel like Black Panther, he's not really, like, just pulling the weight or having the, the abilities at the right place, the right time where I need him, so yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to share those teams with you guys soon, and you can be the uh, the judge of them, uh, so yeah, that's going to be fun, Rocket Raccoon is insane, he's so much fun for like big bursty AoE damage, especially if you hide him behind uh, a couple of tanks there as well, can just deal so much, Kingpin's really great as well, uh, really like Rocket Raccoon, and Kingpin in uh, some of my Blitz teams. Korath, I really enjoy Korath as well. Uh, a lot of single target damage, very similar to Winter Soldier, a bit of a faster version of Winter Soldier, I would say, uh, with a bit more additional utility. Then we have Nobu, some nice minion summons there. Uh, Electra, all right, single target damage, especially with her backstab as well. Works very well in one of my, uh, re what is it, Blitz team synergies with Kingpin. Got some interesting stuff there. Uh, then we have Nebula, who I'm not really using too much at the moment for anything. Jessica Jones, who's kind of an alternative support and also, uh, what is it, a key ingredient in one of my Suicide Squad teams there. So I like Jessica Jones. Wolverine, I'm not really finding too much of a useful Wolverine. I don't really have him fully upgraded yet. But even at like level 57, tier gear 10, like, and also 4 star, he's not really pulling too much weight. His ultimate ability is very, very good, but 
the only scenario where I really have time to use Wolverine is uh, is Blitz, because uh, again, Arena, like, he's just, he's not up there when it comes to the other champions, and when it comes to raids, like, there are, there are better characters and a more staple setup of, what is it, Night Nurse, Captain America, uh, Yondu, Quake, and Black Widow, so Wolverine, I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling to find a bit of a use for Wolverine up here. Uh, Punisher, don't really have much of a use for Punisher, Bullseye, occasional use, I've, I've been uh, fabbling about with Bullseye and some of, some of my infinite blitz teams there, so yeah, good, really good single target, bit of, a, bit of an interesting one, not quite up there, but he hits hard and does have a, a lot of randomness associated with his damage, but uh, I don't know if the payoff is like quite enough for the damage on Bullseye, but he's one that I always have a bit of an eye on, but again, definitely not a uh, top shelf character, Luke Cage, don't really have too much of a use for him. Iron Fist is just rubbish. Iron Fist, I just described as a gimp to Wolverine, uh, who is, again, not really that much of a great character. Hulk is just on the bench as well with Ronan as well. Hand Sentry, I'd love to have more ability resources to upgrade Hand Sentry, because he's very, very useful for a lot of stuff. I want to take him up to level 60 and... Um, yeah, get him up as much as we possibly can in the coming months. Uh, Deadpool as well, we just unlocked him today. He seems insane, man. I re like All my resources are going into upgrading Deadpool at the moment and pimping him out. And also, we've got a lot of lag in, in terms of like upgrading Vision and Doctor Strange and getting them up to level 60. But again, it's really a case of golden gear at the moment. Uh, and it takes time, man. It takes time to bring characters up to that that top level. Uh, but hey, we're getting there, man. Getting there, they're getting there very slowly, though. And also, uh, got quite like a few of the Kree characters up. Kree Cyborg, Kree Reaper, Kree Noble. Kree characters are awesome. Those three are so dope, man. They're really, really good for Blitz, and they're part of um, one of my infinite teams as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's really awesome there. Scientist Supreme, a little bit naff. Aim Security has some good... Aim Security, I think, is like a good meat shield for the raids and also might be useful for some infinite Blitz teams. Uh, but yeah, I don't, we just don't have the resources at the moment to justify upgrading aim security. And then we have just a, a lot of kind of mid-tier minions at like level 50. Uh, so Ravenger Stitcher, Hand Blade Master, Shield Assault, Hand Sorceress, Creole Royal Guard. But pretty much, you know, all of these characters aren't really getting too much of a use though. One character that I do want to upgrade, and I wish I had more resources to do so, is Mercenary Lieutenant. Mercenary Lieutenant is really insane support character. Like, rivals gets quite close up there with Black Widow, not quite at the Black Widow level, just in my opinion because Black Widow's uh, stun and double turn speed up are just a little bit more valuable overall but Mercenary Lieutenant like puts in some work, has some really good stuff with ability energy, offense up, speed up so yeah, Mercenary Lieutenant I think is a great character and might even be moved up in the next iteration of the tier list to Demigod, uh, but yeah, could use definitely with upgrading Mercenary Lieutenant there, but aside from that, there's not really anybody too uh, too else that I'm focused on like upgrading on the lower half of my roster again Again, I really want to get Cable, and also just as a testament to how friggin' whaley Ultimus is, like Ultimus is 100, 180 to unlock, mate, and again, having a roster like this, playing since day one, I have 12 Ultimus shards, ladies and gentlemen, 12 Ultimus shards, granted I do have enough, uh, another Ultimus orb right now, which we're going to save for another big crystal opening in the future but that just gives you an idea of like if you see an ultimus man like it's a ridiculous amount like definitely at least like several thousand pounds worth spent on the game at this point in time uh, and i think uh, by 12 months i will be surprised if i've got ultimus i don't know it could happen because you know it's one of those cases of ultimus is uh you, you're gonna gain more and more shards and just keep on spiraling uh once you get a lot of characters at max and we do have more and more characters being added to that max pile at the moment but yeah, mate, Ultimus is a friggin' trek, my dude. It's gonna take a very, very long time there. And uh, yeah, just in terms of raids at the moment, uh, there's standard level 50 raids. We've got the Enfuego Deadpool raids. And as you can see, your man is absolutely rinsing out up the top there. 8.2 million in today's... Um, raid in terms of blitz as well the blitz grind is uh relatively easy for myself like again i've got five infinite teams that i can just refresh if i want uh not spending any power calls on blitz just using the arena charges so yeah when it comes to the amount that i get free i only generally have enough to refresh like uh what is it uh three to four of my infinite blitz teams but getting that final milestone isn't hard at all like we haven't done any blitz yet today uh, so yeah, still got quite a bit to do there, but every single arena 
arena, uh, you know, because uh, we've been playing since day one, and we've been very on top of the grind, like we get f uh, in the top 500, so we can clock big stacks of shards there, but also as a, uh, as a newer player, man, getting as far as Blitz as you can in Blitz is very, very important, and in terms of what I spend my Blitz credits on, because I got Spider-Man Gamora Crossbones maxed, I uh, just buy the orbs at the moment, just for... Uh, what is it? Additional Ultima Shards and also the Gold. And I'm not too sure if that's like good advice for newer players or not. I haven't really decided that. Uh, I, I think it's probably better, like, overall to focus on, like, Gamora and uh, maybe Crossbones, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm tossing that one up, just because, like, gold is really valuable, man, and it does, it does add up if you're always buying those 350 orbs, but I think definitely for Marina, man, the thing to buy is Quake, just buy Quake, get as much Quake as you can, get it to 7 star as quickly as possible, because then you, uh, you straight up win the video game, yeah, all the challenges maxed out, we have a little bit more to do in terms of, like, the Nexus and Cosmic campaign, but I just haven't got around to like sitting down and doing a video on yet uh but yeah we're gonna get stuck into that i imagine maybe maybe tomorrow right before we go away but i don't think we're gonna have too much of a problem but i know some people do struggle with that so i wanted to make a, a bit of a gameplay video and try and go through some uh, good tactics as we progress through that so yeah ladies and gentlemen that is it uh also just to um Finally, recap in terms of total collection power. We are at uh, what is it? 816k. The strongest team power is uh, 128k. On terms of the power leaderboards, we are currently ranked at 21. In terms of overall collection power, currently in the second strongest alliance, OG Alpha Fight, uh, and uh, strongest team. I don't think I'm even in like the top 100 for the strongest team. Yeah, I'm way way down on there just because I haven't like fully focused on like you know. I've Upgrading like five characters to tier gear 11. So yeah, we're up there, man. We're up there. We, we're getting there. It's not too bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I'm, I'm very interested to have a bit of a look back on this video in about, uh, f uh, what is it, six months time at the 12 month mark. And also see, you know, what a lot of the launch players, what a lot of you guys are experiencing in terms of your roster and whether or not it looks anything like this when it comes to the six month mark uh, for, for, what is it, the launch of the game. Uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this account or video today uh feel free to smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciate it apart from that take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day